Alrighty, welcome back everybody. It's time for a new mission tonight. We are going with wet work extermination. We need to find, track, and eliminate the apex predator. So if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing and definitely smash that thumbs up. And if you're enjoying it here, make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Sinatai have the best sats in the sky. So they'll be watching you. Something's been stalking their teams, but no one's totally sure what you're tracking. Hasn't exactly left a lot of survivors. The most recent sites marked on your map. Start there, see if you can run this one to the ground, and uh, watch your back. Alrighty guys, so we're jumping into a wet work extermination. This is a three skull, so it should be rather difficult from the previous ones that I've done. Uh, so this should be good. So we have to obviously track the predator, the apex predator, uh, last known sighting, G4. So we're going to make our way down there um, and see what we find along the way. Naturally, we will collect ourselves a heap of resources to build ourselves a base camp. Uh, when we decide to set up base and probably tech up to... Uh, we might just try with a longbow. We'll see how we go. Um, but until then, we're going to make our way down there. And I'll see you guys shortly. To search the area. Okay, so wasn't expecting that. I ran uh, straight into the area while I was just making my way to the point. Uh, so now, time to find the evidence. Or the, the scent of this... Uh, Predator. So let's just quickly harvest this one. Oh, it becomes a wolf. Watch out. We'll quickly harvest this one too. Um, we just need to find where whatever it was this thing has killed, this predator. It's obviously killed something in and around G4 here somewhere. So we'll go to the center, see what we can find. Here we go. That wasn't too hard. So, if you're wondering whether you're on the right track, there's your answer. Okay. Can you collect the bones? That is, that is what I want to know. You cannot collect the bones. <laughs> All right. So now we need to locate the animal's den. So it's a fair trek. So unlike the other ones, there was a couple of different points you had to go to. So... This one looks like it's just the two for now, so we'll make our way down there. And if it is the den, we'll definitely look at setting up a base nearby and taking up to either a longbow or maybe even the rifle. We'll, we'll see though. So let's start making our way down there and uh, yeah, get onto it. I was just looking around and this is a beautiful spot to build a base. Like you could build an amazing base here. Maybe we will. I don't know. It's a fair way still from where we need to be, but cracker of a location. Anyway. Back to it. Okay, we are coming up on the location shortly. Very shortly. Here we go. What have we got? Come on. We're nearly there, team. We're nearly there. What is the predator going to be? Let me know in the comments below what you think the predator is going to be. I'll pause this right now. Tell me who you think. You've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. What's the predator? Okay, so it seems it hasn't triggered yet. We've got to locate the animal's den. Knowing my luck, I'm probably going to run straight into it and die. But clearly it's in this mountain somewhere. Because... Ooh. Is it a bear? What do we think it is? Last one was obviously a uh, pretty crazy wolf. Ooh. Looks like it's den. Ah. It's a bear. I called it. Okay, lure the animal out, and we've got to craft animal bait. Okay, so, we need to, well, maybe it's not a bear, actually. It's just a bear over there. And that, what is that bear, um, what now? That is, uh, <laughs> interesting. Okay, so, let's, um, so we know where we need to go. There is a beautiful spot here that we can build a nice, a nice ba a nice base on. Overlooking the river or something. What do we think, guys? Should we build something amazing? Take a bit of time and do it. It's 
So we need to lure him out. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're going to go down here. We're going to build a nice, nice base right here. We've got plenty of timber. I'm pretty sure there's a cave nearby. Um, we're going to build a base here with everything we need. And uh, go up and see if we can't lure this bad boy out. All right. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So we've been harvesting some timber and rock and stone. And we've managed to build ourselves a nice little fireplace. A little bed. And the uh, crafting table, obviously. It's getting a bit dark now. So we built a little two-story to start off with. We're going to go to bed. And uh, we'll get going again in the morning. Uh, building everything that we need to obviously do what we need to do. So we'll see you in the morning, guys. All right, guys. So it's morning time and it's raining. Lovely. Um, we are going to head on over to D7, around about here, there is a cave. We need to obviously get ourselves some, um, iron, so we can craft up some bits and pieces. We need the cooking station to craft some baits, um, and potentially take up to tier 3 to get ourselves a rifle, so... But we'll uh, move on out, and um, we'll see you guys very shortly. Okay, so the cave should be... Yep, here it is. So we're just going to go into this cave. We're going to mine as much as we can, so we can get back and get crafting all the items that we need to, obviously, uh, lure this bad boy out and kill it. So let's hop to it. Right, so I've just cleared out the cave uh, of all the worms, and just so you guys know, a bit of a tip. Don't worry about shooting them with bows. Just run at them with your knife. Two melee hits, and it's game over. Right, guys? So once you get used to it, it's actually super efficient. So anyway, we're going to get mining a heap of this iron, because we need a fair amount of it to tech up and do some bits and pieces that we can do, some copper. Um, so we're going to hop right to it. Now, one thing I normally do, but I forgot to do, is I normally craft a medicinal bench, or herbalism bench, sorry, and get myself the antibiotics for when I get pneumonia. I forgot to do that, so hot tip, don't forget to do that. Okay, so we've filled up our weight limit with uh, iron. We are now going to head back to base and smelt it all down and start crafting some things that we need to complete this mission. Let's get on over there. One little thing I did mention, fail to mention, is that you can actually take your fireplace or your, your stone fireplace to smelt while you go because uh, the iron ingots actually weigh a lot less than the ores themselves, but again, I didn't do that. But uh, depending on how much I need, I might do it on the next trip. Okay, so we got ourselves enough to build the cooking station. So we're going to quickly do that, craft that up. That'll give us, uh, obviously, what we need to then craft some animal bait. I haven't done this before, so this should be interesting to see what we actually need to do. Uh, I think it's done now. Let's have a look. Yep, beautiful. All right. Let's uh, deploy the cooking station. I reckon we'll do it downstairs with our herbalism bench. Uh, hello? What? What is going on with my... There we go. Boom. So, I would imagine the animal fat would probably be what we need. Animal bait. Okay, there you go. Raw meat and animal fat. So animal fat just requires raw meat and then raw meat. Okay, so we can easily do that. That's not a problem. Um, so... We'll get onto that. We're just going to build a few more things and then probably look to tech up, I think. Okay, so we got ourselves some animal fat. We crafted up some animal fat, as you can see here. Now we're going to craft some animal bait, but we need some more animal fat first. Let's do that. Boom. Should be able to craft up two of them. Uh, 30, yeah, 40 seconds to craft that up. That's fine. Cool. All right, let's, let's get on the move. Okay, so now that I have crafted the... Animal bait is now come up with uh, two other things, which is optional. Uh, one is to poison the bait, and the other one is to place the bait near the den. So, um, I don't, I haven't actually used anything to do with poison, so, but I might this time, maybe. I'll use a blueprint and we'll uh, unlock some poison. We'll have a look at it. I'll have a think. I've got to go round up a few more things and make up my mind on what I want to do. So, we'll see you shortly. Okay, guys, so what we've decided to do is build a crafting bench. Which I've just done. I've got, uh, I've unlocked the poison trait, so we, well not trait, but uh, blueprint. We're going to go with the longbow slash poisoned meat and see how that goes with flint arrows. If we need to, we will upgrade to um, rifles if we need to, but we're just going to get this last bits and pieces tied up. 
probably go to bed and come back in the following morning and poison and try and kill this predator. All right, so we'll see you shortly. Rightio, so we are now poisoning our meat. I just thought I'd just show you that we've crafted the poison through in the mortar and pestle and in, in the cooking station. You put them together to craft the poison animal bait, which we have now done. Beautiful. So we are good to poison that bad boy. Um, it's three o'clock, so we're just going to wait till the morning. We will probably, as I said, craft up some flint arrows uh, and uh, go from there. So we'll see how we go, guys. Okay, so it's still the same day. I was going to wait till the morning, but I was like, you know what, stuff it, let's go. We've got everything we need. Let's go and take a peek at this bad boy, see what it is. So we just built a little ramp up here. Uh, and he's obviously over here somewhere. So now we've got to place the bait near the den. Uh, which we've got here, so we might just... Why have I got that there? But anywho. Let's, uh... Go place the bait near the den. Wait for the animal to take the bait and emerge. Right. Let's see what this animal is, guys. I'm freaking out. Let's hide over here. Oh, what the hell is that? Holy Moses. Please, please eat the bait. Please eat the bait. Eat the bait, dude. Come on, man. That's it. That's it. Eat the bait. Hopefully. <clears throat> i got a feeling we might need the gun. Definitely going to need to get up high. We might actually die. Oh, how's your belly, mate? How's it feeling? Oh, dear. Okay, this guy is not going to be... Oh, shit, run, team, run, run, run. Holy shit balls, Mate, surely he's got a bad stomach by now. Come on, can you get me up here? No, you can't. <laughs> yeah, that's right, bitch. That's right, bitch. Yeah, how you doing, mate? Oh, what the... I don't think I shot him, but anyway. He's going down, this bad boy. Flint arrows and poison meat does the trick, guys. Let's go on to bed. No, no. Oh, yeah. There you go, guys. We are done. That is the mission complete. For a hard... For a hard mission uh, and, and going on the last extermination, that was rather easy. Okay, guys? Seriously, you don't need to take up to tier 3. You just need to get yourself a longbow, flint arrows, poison the meat, and you are set. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you out. If it did, maybe consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a thumbs up to really help the algorithm. I appreciate all your support, guys, and let me know in the comments below if there's anything else I can help you with, or if there's a mission you'd like me to look at that you've been struggling with. Happy to help. Anyway, thanks, guys. See you later.